you're in the 21st century, do you honestly think it's right that somebody should be sleeping in a doorway when you walk past? The one thing that I've learned over the years, right, is that um, when I wake up on a, in a doorway, is the thing that I notice is people's legs walking. They just walk past because there's nothing they can do at this point in time to help that individual. Homelessness is an issue in the city, but perhaps social media is a new way to tackle the problem. It's, it's turned out to be quite a successful Facebook page in terms of that lots of homeless people actually read it, follow it, um, lots of people that work in the field of you know dealing with homelessness, um, w whether they work for agencies or whatever, actually are part of it. We have other campaigns that are um, involved in it, and we're just part of a campaign as well. We're part of a we're just a little thing in a bigger picture, and the bigger picture is we want something done about housing in this country. The hostel system does not work. Norbert set up the Facebook page Homeless Britain two years ago. I don't want to waste my time moaning about being a homeless person. I want to actually try and get homeless people, get people together and let's do something about this situation. Self-help. That's why uh, I sell the big issue. The big issue is not about making money to me. It's about being able to pay to get onto the internet, to put my stuff on the Facebook page, to feed myself, clothe myself, and talk to other people. And it's brilliant talking to other people. What a fantastic way of resolving problems, whatever your problems are in your life, is by sharing it with other people, by saying hello to them, right? It's not about the money, it's all about the love. But for Norbert, the Facebook page doesn't just help raise awareness. There are people that come on to me and ask me for advice, right, say, look, I'm living in, um, I'm homeless or I'm going to be homeless, what can I do about it? There's not a lot of information that, there's not a lot that I can do personally to help them, but I can point them in the right direction. I can say, look, go to your local authority, go to your, to your member of parliament and stuff like that, don't give up, you know, join the fight. There's not a lot we can do, you know, people are not, you know, that... I'm not going to get a council house in York or anything like that, right? Just like that. Nobody, it's, it's so difficult. Norbert feels that the way to fix the problem is to continue giving homeless people a voice. You'd be surprised how many homeless people actually talk to the public, right? There are fantastic relationships going on. You know, one of the problems that I've got is when people give people money, I know that some of that money is going to be used on drugs, right? But... Um, but then, slowly, these people are actually talking to members of the public, and slow, and some of them are actually pulling, being pulled back by the members of the public as well. You know, actually facing their issues, doing it because they've got that support. Not everybody is like that, but there is, it's it's there, right? But like I say, um, what what we need to do as a society, you know, the voice. When you say do homeless people have a voice? We have a massive voice. We made that voice heard, right? This, I think this is the first election in a long time, uh, the election, general election that's just gone, where we got hundreds, thousands of homeless people to register, right, to vote. I called for it all the time. Every day on my Facebook pages, we were calling for people, homeless people. I actually went out and canvassed for the Labour Party here and for Rachel. Um, as well because I had to do it there's no question about it right and you know it's nice going on to people's doors and um, saying look I'm calling for a, an, I'm campaigning for a new government because I'm a homeless person I want to resolve the problem and I need you to help us that is the voice there is the voice the voice is amongst us all it's when we use it together Aaron Renfrey that's TV